Hi there, crafty ones. I have four little golden book junk journals that I have completed, and I'm going to start with these two for this video, and then I'll share the other two after this. So I think I'll start with the um, Richard Scarry's Chipmunks ABCs, and these will be listed in my eBay store tomorrow. So if you're interested, I'll put the link once I am um, have them ready to be listed tomorrow. This is Richard Scarry's Chipmunks ABCs. It has the um, rick rack on the side here. Uh, it has this little fabric, little swatchy here with a yellow button, flower button. It's tied with organza ribbon. It has two sewn in signatures on this cute mushroom fabric. And it has this Real pretty fluffy little um, tassel which has these buttons here this is a wooden button a little a heart um, charm another little green plastic heart charm and these tiny little green and yellow buttons here it's that one and then I have this one which is a wood butterfly, a little yellow button, and a little orange one, yellow flower button. Then I think I have one more, which is this one. It's got a yellow, blue, and a green one, and a tiny little, wait, did I do this one? I don't think so, on this little blue one. So those are the three dangles, and yeah, it's a little pretty fluffy tassel. And on the back we've got some more yellow work rack. And we will open up the uh, book here. It has a library pocket. It has some Chanel here on the pocket. And here's the um, first page of the pocket. It's cute alphabet paper and I uh, used a punch, put this together, that flower, and this is from a Dick and Jane book. I sewed around it, cut out the images, made a little collage here with a ticket, so you could journal there. I also have this little cute place to journal. Here's a pocket with a... Um, Little collage piece here with punches. Little A for Apple flashcard. Apple of my eye card for journaling. And this was a from another alphabet type book. And the copyright on this, the latest was 1991. Part of the book and a graph paper. Then we have workbook papers, a little flip tuck. Here's a dimensional uh, sticker. It says Joy. There's some alphabet here. Pretty little card for journaling. You could put pictures here and more of the alphabet. Here's a belly band with the alphabet, ABC. We have a B flash card. And then I made this, sewed around here, B hive, and added the sticker B. Then we have more of the book. Here's a page with a cluster, a little plastic letter D there. Some alphabet paper. Here's a flip for writing. Here's a Dick and Jane book. Added that little element with a dimensional star. Blue writing paper. There's a pocket. It's a cute hopscotch paper with alphabet paper. And I, these are punch outs here. And I added the best day ever. Here's a really cute little envelope. Place to put a picture. Tuck spot here. 
punch these two out and fussy cut that typewriter. Children's writing page and an alphabet worksheet in part of the book. Cute. And then here's the note paper folded in half and it's paper clipped on. It's tucked in there. Got a, uh, the alphabet DEF on these little stars here. You can journal, graph paper. And here's a little clip for writing. We have a little card here. And these are made for my punches with some crochet lace. Here's the middle of the first signature. A part of the alphabet, F, G, H, I, J, K. Here's G for goat. Journal. Here's cute little roller skate colorful paper to write on. A little envelope. You have place to journal. Add more things in there if you'd like. A little pretty little journal spot. Memories. This is from a Dick and Jane. Added some twill and part of lace. Opens up for writing. Here's a flip tuck with a place to write. Draft paper. More paper. Edge punch there and part of the alphabet here. Room for writing. This is a little collage I put here with the letter G. G is for goat. More alphabet work book paper and writing paper. This says notes here in this pocket with this alphabet paper. Little notes here. And here's a little pocket if you want to put something in there. A little flip pocket. You could add a date here. Staple that on there to journal. Here's another uh, Dick and Jane sewed around right in there. A writing paper, more alphabet. Here I added a little dimensional kettle. Goes with this K for kettle here and some crochet lace. Flips up. Put pictures there and I added these. A little tag and this little banner with um, twine. This has space pocket to put things in. A little tuck here, a little cluster I stapled. More alphabet paper and workbook graph. L is for lake, M is for mouse. And then we have a little tag cluster here. Journal, there's a cute little mouse flashcard. You could alter this or write on this time card. And that's the end of the first signature. A little tuck here, here's a pink applique flower. Here's colorful paper here. Added these little pendants. An oh, happy day. And it's for net. It's getting butterflies. There's a little butterfly in that. Thought that would be cute. More of that alphabet paper. Here's O oh, for owl. And cut that out of a book. And we have writing, worksheet of the alphabet. Here's the little tuck. And it says birthday party. This piece for party. And I added that little party hat there. Live it up card. P pres present. Let's party. 
Cut these out on the Orchard Scary Book. Get a little pictures. And then here's a larger place to write. It says, hello, sunshine. Q is for quilt, more alphabet type paper. Put that stamp there. Cute little pocket here with some tags with some twine. And O, part of the alphabet. And then I sewed these papers together. This is not quoted. You are awesome. More alphabet. Writing paper. This is adventure. And a nice little card to journal. This is like a parchment paper for writing. Alphabet paper and workbook with the alphabet practice. S is for swing. And I found a poem about a swing song and cut out the page from another book and added this paper behind it. Here is S and T Spider from a Richard Scary um, book, and I added surprise to the spider and that turtle was looking at him. Thought that was kind of funny. And then we got graph paper. And uh, this is a little button punch I have with a little ticket. We have this alphabet paper. Here's the middle of the second signature. And there's also a tuck spot here. Added this little heart. This is this day. Nice place to journal. This was from a Richard Scarry book here. The N and O. And then we have a place to journal. And here's the M for mouse. And this is from a Richard Scarry. And here's some hopscotch paper. And there's Q for queen and R for rug. And then a graph. And there's a stamp. You could write here. And then and more of that parchment and off of the paper. Here I added this little ticket. This um, little bird and bird cage is hello. Flips up for journaling, and then this little tag here. And then we have an alphabet V and W letters. Y is for yarn. This is from Richard Scarry U Umbrella V Vase and W Walrus. Stapled that little coupon ticket and this little circle there with his paper clips on. And I made this little ticket collage. Sewed it with a zigzag stitch. And we have the letters X and Y. A little tiny rook rack there. And this is so cute. This is from a Dick and Jane book. And another place to write. And then we have a sparkly X I put on there. And this is for X is for xylophone and Xiphius. It's a type of a swordfish. Richard Scarry book. Here's an alphabet practice test page. Children's writing. For more of the book, Z is for zipper. I added this little scallop here. And you could write here. We have Y for yarn and Z for zipper. And then there's MZ. The letter Z. 
that is the end of this one, which is Scary's Chipmunks ABC. And the next one I will show you is the Color Kittens. And this is a little Golden Book Classic. It has Rick Rack on the side. And it has this little cute cluster here with a little orange button. Also has the organza ribbon. Two sewn signatures on this green fabric. Also has the Rick Rack here. And I love this uh, tassel. It's really pretty and colorful. And then on here we have a string with some green orange and that's a wooden button there and we have another string with an orange button a wood button and a green one so those are real pretty very colorful and fun this one they're all fun but this is really colorful because it is the color kittens i have the chanel here get your library card here Here's a pocket with some colorful um, popsicles. Here's a little um, collage in a cluster here. And a real pretty place to journal. And this is really cute. So it's fun, fun. Here I added these little tags with the um, twine. And it says the color kittens in the last, it was renewed, was 1986. Gather memories. Colorful. There's a little applique flower, and this is a poem yellow. It also talks about other colors. I added this. This is our story here. We've got graph paper children's book. Um, we have uh, this paper wraps around so you could take that off and journal. Here's a real pretty little tag. Family life love. Thought that went well with that. Added this little sunburst here. You could write a date or whatever. Bright yellow and the yellow with the kittens. Brush and hush. <laughs> It's very pretty. There's a real colorful wrap around place to journal. Bright pink lined paper. You make me smile. Here's a place you could tuck something. There's a place to journal. And we have graph paper. This is from a Dick and Jane book. And they're talking about different things they're making with colors. And they're mixing their paints. I thought this one real Good with this it's like swirls of water and here's a little place to journal another colorful pretty card and I stamped and here's some <clears throat> pennants and some little rosettes added this cute little girl here with a little circle punch and a little heart punch colorful striped bag here's a same story from a different book but it has real pretty bright illustrations. Thought that would be fun to include in here. And we have more lined paper. This is pretty paper here. I added this burlap with a little heart and a big heart here. Sewed all around it. I can make my belt red. He's painting it red. And it's like he's talking, so I made a little bubble there. So that was kind of cute from a Dick and Jane book. Here we have a diagonal pocket. Some cute little tags, a little pretty bright one. And here's places to write here. And then here is from another book, Poems. One is red. It's colorful and fun. Added this little place you could put a date. It's 
is remember this and added that little heart. And here's the middle of the first signature. Punched out that little heart, put that there. Made this envelope. You have this card in here. There's a cute pocket. You could tuck something here too. With a couple more places. I punched out that little heart. Put that on there. Colorful tuck here. That matches the back of this paper here. Look how fun that is. You found it right in here. I added this little girl on this bag with this little applique that says it's got sunshine. Pretty place to journal. And in this bag, another. Oops, there's two cards. Another card with the popsicles. And here's some pendants with um, little rosettes in it that I stamped. There's some more of that paper that matches this green. Here we have a little colorful page with the colors. Some beautiful bright illustrations. The little pink paper clip. We got draft paper, a little flip out for writing, and here is another little poem about what is pink in different colors greens, violet, more of that colorful popsicle paper. We got pink lined paper, more pennants. And then I added these little flags here. Pink. It's a little collage here I made. A little applique. There's some pretty bright colors. The yellow and the orange. A diagonal pocket. Have this little, looks like, paint. And then I got a bright yellow card that I cut out of a Dick and Jane book and added this little paper lace and fabric with a button collage there. Then we have a poem about orange. A little um, belly band here. Punched out these little hearts. Just a little spot to journal. And here's another Dick and Jane. I see something blue. And there's part of a book colored like the sand and the butterfly. Those are colors that uh, blend into nature. It's from a different book. Fun with color. And there's graph paper. More of the book. And here's a little colorful place to journal. It's a little card there. And here's a little Collage. You could tuck something under there. So that's the end of the first signature. Here's the second with a little pocket. And here's some cute places to journal. Some note paper. And here's some pretty bright paper. I thought that was fun. There's colors from a different book. I'll just put it on this purple paper, some purple stars. There's the same story, but different illustrations from a different book. Uh -huh. Very cute. I love those illustrations also. There's the color purple. We're mixing more paint. Another book about colors, children's book. There's a little yellow bird. Cute polka dot paper with a little ladybug. Some bright yellow paper there. Hard to write. 
yellow. Another little sliver of paper to write notes on. And another little spot. You could, could put a picture or a poem about the color yellow. Then we have some greens. And this is from a Richard Scarry book. It had some green in it with some sea life. So I thought that was pretty with this page here. Green Islands in the Sea. How to be awesome. Color green. It's one of these cute cards again. And there's this, looks like water. More of the book and paper. And I stamped, added these little pendants. Then we have graph paper. There's a belly band. I added this little circular, I, was, I think I have a die of that, and then I added this butterfly, and a fun place to write a date, or you could add a picture also. Isn't that fun? And here's some greens, made that little collage, with a couple of heart punches and a circle and a scrap, it's a smile. And we have Ledger, part of that book about colors. Bright yellows and browns. And then the brown and the sun went down. So I added these stickers, stars. Looks like the night. More pendants that I stamped and added these. Children's writing. A little, little diagonal with a little collage bit with a little butterfly. Tag. Look at this cute one. And place to write. So I just think this is so fun. Pocket here. This is the middle of the second signature. Got a little envelope here with a place to write. Copy. This pocket. It's got little pretty um, hot air balloons. And here's some more note paper. And this is another Dick and Jane. Is it blue? Is it Sally? Is it yellow? Is it red? And this is pretty. And here's a little collage of things I put together for this pocket here with the Little pretty colorful hot air balloons. The portrait company with this twine. More little cards. Little tuck. Added some lace and a little applique. Children's writing. Here's some more stamping and I'm going to glue these little pendants there. These are dimensional numbers. And they're talking about a wonderful dream of a red rose tree that turned all white when you counted to three. One, two, three. And here's the About Colors children's book. And it has three little kittens, too. Orange page. More ledger, beautiful balloon page, and here's the Dick and Jane about the color blue. They're making something with bolt blue, and I zigzagged this lace and these hearts on here and this little fabric. And then we have this, so grateful. Home is wherever I am with you. Pretty little chairs. And then we're almost done. We have this tuck, and I punched that little heart out. Today is a gift out of this fabric and some gems. Pretty pink card. And then we have graph. Stamping. Here's a little 
flip tuck for writing and some egg paper because it matches the little, little eggs here. Easter eggs. <laughs> and they're dancing and I put this life looks like this. <laughs> Pretty little card. And a pocket. And here is from another book. Look how cute they are, these illustrations. And then this paper. It's colorful to write on. So this is the end of this. Well, I'll get a little bit more. I got polka dot paper, added this scallop, and this applique flower. Live happily. Write paper for journaling. So see how fun this is? And you got more of that green painting. Just painting with the color green. And there's more of the story. Oh, look how pretty those colors are. So I added these applique flowers. Enjoy the little things. And we have this tag here, Live Happily. Mother can make something, can make something blue. It looks like that's the bubble for her talking. Another real pretty place to journal. So I spent a lot of time trying to make everything work together. And here's the back page. You have um, another pocket. So that is Color Kitten. So like I said, I will list these in my store on eBay, not Etsy, eBay, Pam's Paper Place. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. You have a wonderful afternoon. Bye-bye.